Hi everyone, this is Maria and today I have a super simple Halloween DIY for you. I'm going to show you how to turn this ordinary mason jar into a really cute candy witch jar. This is what you're going to need. To make a bewitching candy jar, you're going to need a mason jar. I found the larger clear mason jar at our local Dollar Tree. The purple and the green mason jars I found at our 99 cent only store, but I've also seen them at Michael's and Joann's. You're also going to need a small witch hat, the kind that come on these plastic headbands, and you can find these everywhere during the Halloween season. I bought this one at our local 99 cent store. You're also going to need some Halloween ribbon to coordinate with the witch hat. And you're also going to need some Halloween candy. These glow-in-the-dark witch fingers are optional. They're party favors and I found this package at Michael's. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tags and so just snip them off with my scissors and then I have this little thing, the little hanger thing. Okay, get that off. And then the next thing, I love this because it has a veil. And so we're going to detach this, the headband, from the bottom of the hat. And so we're actually just going to take small scissors and we're just going to cut into it. And we're just going to snip this off. And you can always upcycle the headband. You could put googly eyes on it or decorate it some other way that you would like. So you don't have to toss it out. Okay, so we have our headband. I'm just going to set it aside. And so then you'll have this on the bottom. And that's actually hot glued on. And so then we're going to take our jar. Now the jar comes, the lid, in two pieces, just like this. And so I'm going to leave that on there. And so I'm going to put this right back on. And then I'm going to put glue all around here. And I'm going to hot glue the hat on. Okay, so I'm just going to put some hot glue. I like to use lots of glue. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to do this facing me so I can make sure I get it on there evenly. And I'm just going to put the hat right on top. And I'm going to press down. You can see what it looks like. It looks really cute. I was going to use the orange hat on this one, but I decided to go with this green one because I love these feathers. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to turn it upside down because I want to see if it's even. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry. While waiting for the green hat to dry, I went ahead and glued on this orange witch hat to the bottom of this lid. Isn't this cute? I just love these polka dots. So now that the glue has cooled completely on the lid, it's time for the candy. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling the jar with the candy. And so we have all kinds. These look so good. They're called zombie food. I got those at Walmart. There's some Hershey's and the little Hershey miniatures. They look so cute. And I'm going to add a witch finger, but I think I'm going to wait till I add a little bit more candy. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled the jar with the candy, and you can see the witch's fingers in here. They're really cute. And so they glow in the dark. So in this clear jar, you'll be able to see them glowing in the dark at night. So I love this large jar because I could fit a lot of candy in here. And you can use any kind of candy you like. In fact, I was thinking I should have bought some Hershey Kisses. And so anyways, here's the green jar. And so I wasn't able to get as much candy in this jar because it's smaller, but I still was able to get quite a bit in here. So let's add the hats. Okay, so I'm going to add the orange hat to the green jar. That looks really cute. Look at this, you guys. It just looks so cute, the orange with the green. And then I'm going to add the larger hat to the larger jar. Let me just sort of move this over. That looks, okay, <laughs> spin this around. That looks really cute, you guys. I really love this. So now we're going to add some ribbon to the jars. Okay, so now I have my ribbon. And if you notice, I have all these different colors in this ribbon. And I chose this one because it would go with any of the hats. So I'm just going to pull a length of ribbon. And so I'm not really sure how long that is. It looks like maybe about a yard. And I'm just going to snip at an angle. 
so it'll look like this. And I'm going to do that with the other side also, just at an angle. It'll just look nice. So now I'm just going to slide the ribbon under the jar, under the neck of the jar, and I'm just going to hold it so it matches up here. And then I'm just going to tie one knot, and then I'm just going to tie a bow after that. And so there it is right there. And just tie a quick, simple bow. And so here we go. This looks really cute, you guys. Okay, so you can see I have the bow tied around the neck and I had to move it just a little bit over just to align it with the silk flowers. And so I'm going to lower the black spooky veil on this one. And look at these spiders, you guys, these black widow spiders. I really love this. And so I think it turned out really cute and I know I would love to receive something like this, wouldn't you? So let's go ahead and finish up the second one. I really like how this one turned out too. I love the orange hat with the black polka dots and the black silk rose. And then look at this tool. It also has the black polka dots on it. And then the ribbon just sort of ties all of the colors up with the green jar. I just really, really love this. So I hope you enjoyed this witchetty Halloween DIY. Thanks for watching everyone and happy Halloween.